Hello everybody and welcome to the preliminary matches for the first ever 2v2 Dungeon Team Smite tournament. Today we have Medical Demoman versus Brad. This match will be used to decide one half of the teams for the 2v2 matches. This is the first of the two preliminaries and we have Medical as Al Kwong and Brad as Thor. This could lead to be a very interesting match if these two know how to use their characters. Brad opening up with the combat boots, giving him physical power and attack speed and movement speed. Going with that branch of the boots. Brad is waiting in mid for medical. Medical is still at spawn buying his items. He has bought the Adventurer's Blade, which gives him health cooldown reduction, attack speed, and movement speed. Oh, medical is still waiting in spawn. Don't know exactly what's going on there. But Brad is standing at tower range getting ready for those minions when they spawn. Here. Not much is going on here. Oh, the match will be starting in about 20 seconds with Medicos taking his first moves to leave spawn. He is now passing the Phoenix while shooting his bullets. We don't yet know what abilities these two have opened with. They are both level 1s. We will see. Brad going into the jungle lanes. Oh, will they meet? Will this lead into a fight? Medical seems not to have noticed Brad. Oh, they have noticed each other. We'll fight and shoot. Oh, Brad. Brad gets hit with Medical's ability, taking damage over time. Medical going into tower range. Don't know exactly what's going on there. And Brad has taken first blood against Medical, giving Brad an early game lead against him. Medical respawning already in that. Brad going and taking out the minions, getting himself some gold and XP. He will be the first to reach level 2, most likely, unless Medical can do something to pull Brad out of that. Brad is now level 2. We don't know what ability he's chosen yet, but Medical chooses another item, the Ancient Blade, giving him attack speed and movement speed. Looks like he's going for killing bag quickly and fastly with the... <laughs> quickly and fastly. Quickly and fastly with the abilities that he has. Brad sitting here taking out minions, leveling, getting ready to level up again. Oh, he is now level 3, getting closer and closer to his ult, which will give him a huge early game lead over medical. Brad recalling now, most presumably to buy items to upgrade himself. Ooh, and medical standing here fighting the minions. Minions taking down his health. Now Qualing, not one known to have much health. Brad is playing Thor, of course. Brad is an assassin. Thor being the assassin right here, and medical being a mage. This could be very interesting because Al Kuang has is a pusher with high area damage, while Thor has high single target damage and medium crowd control. This could be very this could be a very interesting match. Medical now, of course, reaching level two for Red Team. While Brad is going in to attack his minions. Will Medical stay to defend his minions or will he recall? Looks like he's staying to defend. Brad trying to kill Medical within tower range, but not being able to get the range or the damage out there to kill him. Oh, he's going in for short range killing Medical, but Medical retreats back into tower range. Brad's sitting here attacking the minions while Medical is trying to... Oh, Medical starts to recall to send himself back to the shop so he can upgrade. Medical now being level 3, Brad being level 4. Brad is... If he gets one more level up, he will have enough for his ult which will give him a gigantic early game advantage, while Medical still being level 3 could catch up if he can go out there and kill some minions pretty quickly. Oh, Brad has bought the Great of Purification, which will remove crowd control effects. I don't know if he knows whether or not this won't work against any of Medical's abilities, because none of his abilities count as crowd control, so that will actually be useless later on lead to be useless. Meanwhile, Medical upgrading his attack power and attack speed mostly with some health and cooldown reduction out there. Brad with the Warrior Tabai, giving him more physical power and physical penetration as well as movement and attack speed. It looks like Medical is going over for the mana camp, trying to get himself some more mana. Will he succeed in grabbing it? No, it looks like he's retreating to re recover some health. Oh, but he goes back. He goes back to go fight him. Uh, but he... Decides that it's too strong. Oh, looks like Brad's trying to push mid tower. Oh, but no. Minions come back along with Medical. Looks like Brad is going for his ult, attacking Medical. Oh, will Brad get killed? Brad has been taken down by Medical. The score is now 1 1 for each of them. Medical being at level 4. Brad being at level 5. Now with his ult, as you can just see, he's used it up. 
Medical could gain his ult and grab a huge advantage on the lane, as we all know. Medical's ability is to summon his greater self, whatever you want to call it, and attack. In this one lane area, it could be very hard for Brad to escape that. Oh, but Brad, with have it, having his ult recharging, could have a hard time dealing with Medical now, the newly upgraded Medical. Medical upgrades his Winged Blade again, and now gets more health, more cooldown reduction, more attack speed, more movement speed. And he is immune to slows, and your movement speed is increased whenever he gets hit by a slow. Ooh, but Brad going for the... Oh, Medical has also grabbed the Vampiric Shroud. Meaning he will get more health and mana whenever he kills an enemy as well as an enemy minion. This could be very useful for him in big fights against Brad when there are minions about. He can easily recover his health if he uses his storm. Looks like Brad is trying to take out Medical already wasting two of his abilities at half mana. Don't know what could happen now. Brad is just standing there doing nothing in the middle of the round. While Brad is standing there doing nothing in the middle of the round. Well, Medical has reached level 5. He now has his ult ready. Will he be able to take out Brad with his ult? If this goes into an escalated fight, we don't know what could happen. Oh, he uses his ult, but Brad uses his as well. What could happen? Will he get caught in the ult? Oh, Medical just barely dodges the ult. He uses his speed up, he is going faster now, but we don't know what could happen after this. Brad, level 6, still with only the boots and the cooldown reduction. We will see later on if getting those purification beads will be a huge mistake on Brad's part. Seeing how that is one of his abilities, and now he can't... He cannot sell them, I believe. He is recovering his mana back at spawn, while Medical is also doing the same. Brad at level 6, Medical at level 5. Ooh, Brad grabs the Heart Seeker, giving him more physical power and movement speed, and he now has physical power stacks along with that blade. We don't know what could come out of this. Brad has a bigger net worth than Medical by about two, 250, about that. Now it looks like about 350 now. Brad, or Medical, summoning his storm within Brad's tower range to screw over his minions. Oh, and then he retreats into the side lanes. Presumably to go and get one of the camps. Looks like he might be going for the speed camp. Attacking the minions with, of course, with his storm. Will, be, will he be able to take him out, or will Brad notice him and go after him? Looks like Brad is just trying to eliminate the minions in mid and push straight away to the tower. But he seems to not know where Medical is, and that is probably unnerving to him. Oh, it looks like Medical is going to go for a gank behind... Oh no, he just switches to the other lane, going for presumably the mana camp. Or he might just be going for a quick way to mid to gank Brad. Brad still not knowing where Medical is. This could screw him over later in the game. Oh, but Medical's tower is under attack by the minions since they have not been killed by him. The tower now at about losing about one bar of health. Brad also attacking the tower, taking it down. Two bars of health has gone down off of that tower. Well, Brad's tower has only about one bar off of it. We don't know what could come out of this. Medical back in his spawn at level 5, getting upgrades. While Brad, since he's been killing minions for the past little bit, he is level 8 at half mana. Medical now grabbing the Ancient Blade again after upgrading to the Witch Blade, giving him more physical power, more physical protection, and having attack speed reduced around him by enemies. Ooh, it looks like Medical is going for power, powerful attacks that can go fast and quick to kill Brad very quickly. While Brad's still not grabbing... Oh, he grabs Meditation, Greater Meditation. We don't know exactly what Brad's strategy is here. It looks like he's just trying to adapt to his situation, but not doing a fantastic job of it. That, again, that cooldown, or that crowd control removal could screw him over later in the game when he realizes that that does not actually work. Maybe he's already realized it. We don't know, but Brad using his ult, going for medical, actually missing going for the minions instead. That was a huge waste of Brad's ult, not even killing the minions that it was directed at. But the tower now at about two and a half missing bars of health off of it. He activates his greater purification beads. It doesn't really do anything for him. Looks like that was a big waste. He goes for the minions. Does not kill them yet. Oh, he is using a lot of abilities to kill these minions while Medical is sitting back in spawn recovering his mana. Might be going to get more upgrades. But the minions are attacking the tower. Could Brad push this tower? 
Brad not really knowing what's going on, will he be able to assess the situation and be able to take it? Oh, looks like that tower could be going down. It's now at half health. Medical still in spawn, realizing what's going on and the threat that's occurring. He is starting to head out, but looks like this tower will be lost. Oh, no, it looks like Brad's pulling away at the last second. Oh, such a shame that tower could have gone down and gotten Brad a huge advantage. Nine minutes here into the game. Ooh, still at 1-1 one, one each. One kill, one death. Ooh, Medical has also bought a new item. He's bought the Silver Talisman, giving him more health than Brad. Let's check the health on each of them. Uh, Brad having around 1,200 health, and Medical having around 1,500 health. This could lead into a huge fight later. Brad having, of course, more fit, more power and attack speed. Actually, he just has more attack speed, not even more power. But Medical has less magical power, though. We don't really know what could happen. This could just turn into a high sustain battle. Oh, he gets hit with the ult. Brad doing about one-fourth of his health damage. Ooh, Brad, re Brad retreats and medical retreats back into tower range as well. Brad sitting out there killing the minions, getting the XP and the gold. Brad now at level 10, medical at level 7. This could screw medical over later in the game and probably will. He is severely under level, but if he can keep up and sustain until Brad can get killed again, now that we're later in the game, Brad can be dead for a while, and that would lead to a tower destroy with one single push. It looks like the minions from red team are killing the minions from blue team here, leading to a, an advantage. Medical coming to assess the situation, going to kill the minions, get the advantages from the kills. Will he be able to gain level 8? He gets to level 8, Brad at level 10, medical level 8. Ooh, it looks like Brad has bought the Mad Guy's Blessing, Mad Magic, whatever it is. He gets more protection, more health, more crowd control reduction. Again, the crowd control reduction not helping him out here at all. This could be, this could screw him over very severely later in the game. But does give him quite the health advantage. Looks like Brad's still having more net worth due to that level advantage that he has over Medical. Will Medical be able to realize that this is going on and have to go kill more minions of Brad's? Looks like Medical uses his ult. It really doesn't do much. Looks like that was a waste of an ult by Medical. Medical going back to his spawn to recover mana and or buy upgrades while Brad sitting there killing his minions. Brad now level 11, Medical now level 8. Looks like Brad could push this tower and take it down. Looks like this tower will be down with one more push from Brad, if Brad realizes this. And the tower's going down. The, the blue team has destroyed red team's tower. Will Medical be able to recover from this? If he's able to kill Brad even once, that could give him a huge advantage in the game, allowing him to push and kill the other team's tower. We don't yet know if Medical is aware of this. Of course, Medical buying more health and more magical protection. Magical protection not doing much against Mr. Brad, who has only physical damage, pretty much. If we check here, yeah, he is a physical melee fighter that doesn't protect medical against any protection, against any attacks from Brad at all. It does give him more health, though, which might lead to an advantage, but since medical is not playing a guardian character, that doesn't really help him out. He should be going for more magical power and such to boost his attacks against Brad. Oh, we have... We have Medical initiating... Oh, we thought he would initiate a gank, but no, it looks like he's going for speed camp. No, he is cr actually crossing over, going to the other side. Looks like uh, Brad might be able to push the Phoenix if he realizes it, but no, he's chasing after Medical right now. Medical going along into the jungle, going after these camps. Oh, but looks like Brad... Oh, Brad doesn't notice Medical. Actually, recalls, goes back to spawn. He... We don't know yet what he's doing. He didn't even stay to get the health regen or anything. Brad sitting here killing the minions, leveling up. Brad level 12, medical level 9. What could be going on here? Brad actually does not have his ult, but medical uses his ult, and now Brad is about half health. Will medical be able to take advantage of the situation and kill Brad? It doesn't look like it. Brad retreating quite quickly. Ooh, he stuns medical. Will he be able to use this as an advantage to take a kill? Brad, Brad just barely dodges medical storm. That could have screwed him over severely if he got caught in it. Looks like Brad retreats into tower range where medical can't really reach him. Brad now has his ult ready. If he can get Medical down to low health, he can kill him. Oh, but Medical goes to recall. Medical level 9, Brad level 12. Brad pushing with his minions. Oh, Brad actually starts to recall his minions, pushing the tower. Looks like this will lead into a minion fight at the tower. Red Team's minions will, of course, prevail because they are having assistance from the Phoenix, as well as had more health on them when they went to attack. Looks like we should go and check the upgrades by both of them. Brad buying Jotun's Wrath, giving him more physical power and mana, allowing him to use more abilities in a short amount of time. 
and Medical starts to buy shoes to increase his movement speed. One could assume he's going for speed now. Try and uh, outlast Brad or go after Brad when he goes into 1v1s against him. Brad now going after the tower. Will he be able to push the Phoenix? Looks like Medical going around to the camps is not actually helping him out much. This is a very big misplay by Medical's part since he is not actually... Oh, he is trying to take out the tower from behind. This isn't really going to help him out now that Brad's noticed him. He is going to go for Medical. If Medical falls into those towers even once, that is bad news bears for Medical. He will be dead. Oh, it looks like this is the end for Medical. He might be taken out by Brad right now. If Brad has even one of his line attacks, he could kill Medical right here and now. Looks like Brad has used all of them up in his attack against Medical. Oh, but he stuns Medical, goes after him. Will he be able to get the kill? No, it looks like Medical will just barely escape into tower range. Oh, but Brad is now at the tower, can regroup with his wins. Oh, and Brad, Brad gets caught up in the storm, but being at full health, that doesn't really affect him much. Medical being level 9, Brad being level 13. Brad with more health and more sustain on him. Looks like Medical's attack speed and all that, his items don't really uh, help him out very much in these fights. If only he bought more magical per magical power, then he could be doing a lot more damage versus Brad in these fights and even prevailing against him. Brad going against Medical again in a fight. Medical staying in the safety of his tower while Brad is out there fighting with his minions trying to kill Medical. He attempts a stun, but Medical just barely dodges it, escapes, goes back into tower range so that he doesn't get killed. Brad finishes off the last of Medical's minions, and again, his minions go into the tower again to push. Medical quickly kills him, Medical levels up, he's now level 10, Brad level 13. Both of them have their ults ready, this could arise into quite the 1v1 situation. Medical opening up with his ult, it misses, that doesn't really help him out much in the fight. Brad then going for the stun kill, he is trying to take out Medical now. Medical going after the minions, tries to retreat back to his Phoenix. Brad being level 14, Medical being level 10, this could lead into quite the fight. Looks like Brad's retreating as well, and he really realizes he can't catch up to Medical with Medical Speed. What will arise out of this? Medical starts to recall, go back to his shop, and Brad also recalls. This leads to a minion fight in mid. What will arise out of this minion fight? It looks like Blue Team might just barely prevail out of this minion fight. Seeing how Blue Team got the first hit. Looks like Blue Team will push through this minion fight and go to fight the Red Phoenix. Oh, but Medical comes. Medical attacking the minions, taking them down, getting the gold and the experience. Oh, Medical levels up. He is now level 11. Brad level 14. Brad going for the ult, and he hits. He stuns. Oh, but it looks like Medical will retreat back into Phoenix range. Oh, no. He's hanging around outside the Phoenix, ready to go back at any time. He advances back to mid, going towards the minion fight. Oh, looks like Brad could grab the kill here. Oh, looks like Brad will just barely miss the kill here. If he went after Medical just a little bit more with an ability, maybe he could have got him. Medical going back into spawn to heal up and maybe get an upgrade or two. Medical actually upgrading his shoes for the shoes of that guy, giving him more magical power, which could lead him to an advantage in fights if he can just boost it up even more. Looks like he sells one of his items. He sells the Vampire Shroud. What will he buy to replace the Vampire Shroud? He buys the Enchanted Ring, giving him more magical power and more attack speed. This could help him out severely against minions and Brad alike. Medical might be able to recover from this if he can get what, just one kill off against Brad. Ooh, but Brad dodges that storm and his minions take the brunt of the hit. This could give Medical quite the advantage if he can get enough gold and experience off of him. Brad going into a fight against Brad, opening... Uh, Medical going into a fight against Brad, opening up with his ult, missing everything, not even hitting the minions. Brad ulting, level 15, Medical level 11. He misses his ult just barely, Medical using his 2 ability to escape, boosting his movement speed to escape that quite close confrontation. He retreats back to spawn while Brad stays in mid. Brad also retreats back to spawn. The minion fight is happening near Medical's tower. This can give him quite an advantage if he can go get the last hits. I think he's just there upgrading his abilities right now. Might be upgrading that enchanted ring to give himself more abilities. Ooh, but Brad bought the Deathbringer, giving him more physical power. This can counter Medical's magical power buff quite carefully. Looks like Brad still having more net worth is pushing in this. Brad, blue team with Brad definitely has the advantage here with one, one tower down by Medical's team. They are looking to push the Phoenix now. Bradley in level 15, Medical being in level 11. If this leads into a close quarters confrontation, he, Medical might be able to pull off a kill with the Phoenix assisting him, but I don't think Brad's going to be stupid enough to go for a fight within Phoenix range. 
Red Team's Phoenix got attacked quite quickly, but not much damage was done, and thus not much of an advantage was gained by Blue Team during that push. Looks like Medical's taking out the minions. He is now level 12. Both teams have their abilities ready. Medical, re Medical sells one of his items and buys the Magic Focus, giving him more magical power. He is trying to boost his magical power here late in the game to try and give him more of an advantage in the 1v1 fights against Brad. If they can both reach, if they can both reach level 20 with the abilities, they might be able to actually lead to one of, one of them getting a kill. If one of them gets a kill right now, that'll lead to that team getting quite the advantage. Brad ulting trying to get medical within the mid range. He goes for it, misses Brad or misses medical. He has the attack power buff on him. What will medical do to counter this? He is retreating back to spawn, trying to heal himself up, get more mana, and hope probably upgrade his abilities now. Brad attacking the minions at mid. He is now level 16, medical level 12. They both, Medical still having his ult ready while Brad already used his to do some damage. Medical having the Enchanted Spear with more penetration and power behind it. We'll now look at the defense of each of them. Medical having quite the magical protection. Too bad Brad's a physical power man. He has the advantage in, Brad actually has the advantage in health with 2000 health against Medical's 1800. Brad having a significantly more physical power than medical does magical power by about 50 points oh and they go into a fight medical almost at half health he retreats back to phoenix range to try and heal up medical level 13 brad level 16 sorry for the delay there we medical still having no abilities or neither of them buying either any consumables if they only bought if medical bought a magical power buff as a consumable that could give him quite the advantage in the fight that could equal brad's but I don't think he's going for that. He's staying within Phoenix range. He's playing it safe. Brad pushing with his minions. He could easily, he could try to get a kill right now with his minions. Looks like Brad's playing it safe as well while Medical is defending against the minions. Brad's standing right outside the tower range waiting for Medical to slip up, waiting for those minions to come to him. Medical pushes with his minions to go after Brad. Brad retreats to regroup with his minions, trying to gain the advantage. Oh, Brad starts to ult, flies into the air. If Medical does this right, he could. Oh! Oh, will Medical get killed here? Mm, looks like he could be. Oh, and Brad takes a second kill, leaving the ability open to go and take Red Team's Phoenix. Medical being dead for 30 seconds. This could lead to quite the push by Brad. Looks like Blue Team's tower is under attack by minions, but Brad should not need to care about that. Looks like this death will not actually lead to much of a push by Blue Team at all, seeing how Brad is sitting here killing the minions, and minions have not yet regrouped up with Brad. Minions regroup with Brad, but with Medical only being dead for 13 more seconds, it doesn't look like Brad will be using this to push anymore. Brad Recall is completely wasting the ability that Medical's been dead to push, but he goes and buys Rage, giving him more physical power and more of a critical strike chance. Medical leaving spawn now. He's actually sitting in spawn, selling another one of his items, buying the Kronos Pendant, giving him more magical power and more magical regen. What will come out of this? Looks like Brad, level 17, Medical, level 13. This is giving Brad quite the advantage to catch up, and if he can kill Medical one more time, he can push and take out that Phoenix and go straight for the Titan. Oh, Medical ults, kills the minions, but misses Brad. Brad going for another kill on Medical. Medical retreating back into Phoenix range. Medical escapes that confrontation quite quickly, going back to spawn to get more upgrades and heal himself. Neither one buying a consumable yet, but Brad with two abilities. That meditation could actually save him, because if Medical gets him low, he can use that meditation to heal himself back up to near full with full mana. This could screw Medical over pretty hard later on. If Medical buys a Meditation gets up to level 3, he could have the he could match Brad in fights. Oh, but it looks like Brad gets a second kill. Brad starting to push with his minions. No, actually, Brad hanging back, not realizing what a great situation this is for him. Taking out the minions right there. Oh, and Medical's team actually surrenders to Brad. Brad being the victor of this first preliminary match, leading him to be teamed up with the loser of the second preliminary match. Uh, what will come out of this exciting endeavor? Thank you all for watching this preliminary match. This is the score with 3-1 and 1-3. Looks like this could, uh, this went as about as well as it could have. Medical surrendering right after his second death. Brad could have pushed if he had his minions there. So, thank you all for watching this preliminary match. And we'll see you with the second preliminary match leading into the 2v2 tournament. Goodbye.